Hello everyone, welcome to my final year project demonstration. The title of the project is Performance of Traffic Sign Recognition with Warning System. Nowadays, there are many accidents occurring due to ignorance of traffic sign. So in an attempt to solve this problem, this application is built to help drivers to recognize traffic signs while on the road. This demonstration contains different parts. First of all, we will talk about the aims and objectives of, the, of this project. So the aim of this project was to build an application uh, to detect and recognize traffic signs solely in Mauritius. The application will allow the user to input any image of his choice and will recognize any traffic signs present in the image. It can also perform traffic sign recognitions in, uh, real, in real time. So the objectives are as follows. Firstly, we had to collect traffic sign images to construct a purely Mauritian data set because there was no Mauritian data set available. And after the collection, we had to merge it with the German traffic sign recognition data set found on Kaggle. This is done to enlarge the size of the data set, hence increasing the performance of the system. After Constructing the dataset, we had to train the CNN classifier with the created dataset. And then we had to, we had to build a user-friendly graphical user interface. This is done to make it accessible to users of any age group so that they can easily use the application. And of course, we had to implement an effective traffic sign detection and recognition system. The dataset support 40 clauses of traffic signs in Mauritius. The 40 clauses chosen was the most commonly used traffic sign in Mauritius. The dataset was built by collecting more than 27,000 images. Therefore, the performance of the system will be quite accurate. And as mentioned earlier, it was built by merging the local traffic sign images and images from the GTSRB dataset. The system is divided into two phases. The first phase is the training phase where the classifier will be built to perform the recognition. The classifier is a CNN model. CNN means convolutional neural network, uh, which is a family of the, uh, of the deep learning. Uh, so the model will be trained using the custom dataset. And after training, the system achieved an accuracy of 97.4%, which is quite accurate. And to top it, it can classify partially occluded images and also slightly damaged traffic sign. It can also perform in various lighting conditions. This had to be done, of course, because uh, on the road, there are not always a good lighting condition, so a good system had, has to be able to detect traffic signs in dark frames also. This is the model of the convolutional neural network. As you can see here, this is the input image. It is passed to a convolutional layer where a filter will be applied to extract features and generate a feature map. And then the feature map will be passed to a pooling layer where, depending on the type of pooling used, the maximum value or average value will be extracted. It will be then again passed to convolutional layer and again to pooling layer. Finally, it will be passed to the fully connected layer or the dense layer where the prediction will be done. As you can see here, it outputted core, which, uh, which is the prediction. So after the training phase, we now come to the testing phase. The testing phase is the part where the system will recognize the traffic signs. It is also divided into two parts. The first part is the detection part and the recognition part. Of course, the traffic sign had to be, has to be detected firstly in order to be able to recognize the, traffic, the, the sign in the image. So the detection phase 
we chose a color and shape based approach, which is the most effective method when doing traffic sign detection. The input image will be firstly converted to the HSV color space. This is done because HSV color space is not affected by changes in illumination. Hence, it um, enhances the performance of the system. So, uh, red and blue color segmentation was chosen, which is the uh, the most common color in traffic signs. So, the segmentation process will extract the red and blue colored pixels in the picture. And after segmenting the image, uh, Kani edge detection will be applied to reveal all the edges in the segmented image. And then afterwards, a contour detection will be will be applied to detect for any shapes, whether circular, square, triangular, or octagonal shapes. And then the, uh, the ROI or the region of interest will be cropped and sent to the recognition phase. Here is the classification phase. The ROI, the ROI cropped from the detection phase will be pre-processed by applying filters to reduce noises. Or, and may, uh, also to increase the brightness or enhance the contrast and after pre-processing it will be passed through the built model where it, the model will return the name of the sign and also the similarity score. The similarity score simply means the probability of the, of the recognition. So here is the overview of the system. As you can see here, there is an image containing a traffic sign and it will undergo preprocessing, also conversion to SSV color space. And then it will undergo detection where it will undergo thresholding, morphological filters, filtering, and the sign will be extracted and then sent to the recognition part. The recognition part, the features will be extracted and it will be matched to the the images in the database and then the most closely matched clause will be outputted. So finally, this is the features of the system. Since in Mauritius, the most commonly used languages is uh, English and French. So we decided to make the system bilingual. The user can switch to uh, English or French based on which he prefers the most. The application can also run the user through speech output. The detected sign will be uh, will be outputted through speech. And of course, as mentioned earlier, it can perform recognition both in images and in real time. So now we will start the application and we will test it in different conditions. So here is the main script and we will start the application. And as you can see, the application is started and we can now switch the languages from English to French and it works, as you can see. So now, let's switch it back to English because I prefer English the most. And let's start the application in real time and we'll test it with different images. So this is a hump ahead sign and uh, it can detect it with 100% accuracy. It takes time to adjust because of the lighting in my room. And the no entry sign is also detected with 100% accuracy. And finally, we will test it with a stop sign. And it is also recognized with 100% accuracy. So now let's test it with images. We will test the application with uh, under different conditions. So the, these are the different conditions that I specified. Uh, images from distances, partially occluded signs. So firstly let's, uh, uh, let's start with a normal red traffic sign. And this is the no entry sign detected perfectly. And this is the pedestrian crossing sign also detected. 
now let's move on to the to a normal blue traffic sign and as you can see here it can be detected with a 100% accuracy position of pedestrian crossing sign let's test it with another sign this is the one way sign and it can be detected it uh, it is recognized perfectly with a quite high accuracy now let's test it uh, so as mentioned earlier it can detect uh, multiple traffic signs so here is the first test case of double classification and it can detect the no left turn sign and both uh, also the stop sign Let's test it with another image. So here it is, uh, the second one, uh, no entry and keep left sign. So it is detected perfectly and recognized perfectly. Now let's test it with a blurry image. So this is a blurry giveaway sign and it is recognized with a pretty high accuracy this is a blurry no entry sign and it is also recognized with a hundred percent accuracy now let's test the application uh, under with uh, in dark frames so here is the no through road in a dark frame so it, uh, as you can see, it is recognized. And here is a pedestrian crossing sign in a dark frame. And it is recognized with a 100% accuracy. Let's test it with the last one. A giveaway sign in a dark frame. And it is also recognized accurately. Finally, let's test the partially occluded signs. So now let's test it with partially occluded signs. This is a heavily occluded giveaway sign. And it is also detected pretty accurately. This is a slightly damaged pedest uh, pedestrian crossing sign. It is also it is also recognized accurately. Here is a keep left sign, uh, slightly occluded, and it is also detected accurately. So finally, let's test the voice notification. Uh, let's test it with a occluded hump sign. Hump detected. And it can. As you can see, it works. So this is all. Thank you, everyone.